Hello there. You are welcome to another biology lesson. Today we'll be looking at the topic culturing micro. Now the objective of this lesson is to def help learners define microbial culture and culture media. Give examples of culture media. State the reason or aims of culturing microorganisms. Describe the process of culturing bacteria and virus. Now we'll be looking at the concept of microbial culture. Now microbial culture is a method of multiplying microbial organisms by letting them reproduce in predetermined culture medium under controlled laboratory conditions. Now since microbes are ubiquitous, that means they are everywhere, to grow microbes, samples can be obtained and placed on agar or culture media and incubated in the laboratory. Now you can see the picture of a laboratory and you know the materials that we use in microbial culture now moving along we'll look at the purpose or the aims of microbial culture microorganisms are cultivated in the laboratory for many reasons they can be used to investigate diseases develop vaccines perform genetic engineering techniques or culture for industrial production now these are other reasons um, for culturing uh, microorganisms example bacteria for the isolation of bacteria, understanding the properties of bacteria, to create antigens for laboratory use, to test for antibiotic sen sensitivity, to estimate viable counts, and so. Now moving along, we'll be looking at the concept of a cultural medium. What is a cultural medium? Now the cultural medium is a liquid or solid or geolite preparation containing nutrients that can support the growth of microbes in this case fungi and bacteria. Now a culture is a collection of microorganisms growing in or on a culture media. As you can see we have solid, liquid and semi-solid culture media. Now we'll be exploring the different types of culture media. We have the nutrients media, selective media, differential media, enriched media, complex media and synthetic media. Now, nutrient media encourages growth of a wide range of microorganisms because it is rich in proteins, vitamins, and carbohydrates. Examples of these are the nutrient agar. Selective media encourages growth of certain strains of organisms, but inhibiting some others due to certain substances it contains. An example of this is the McConkey agar. Now, differential media distinguishes different microbes by color odor, texture, growth pattern, and hemolytic reactions. So we have the clad or the blood agar as examples. Enriched media contain enrichment factors that encourages the growth of sensitive microbes. That is fastidious ones. An example of this is also blood agar. Now we also have the complex media which contains various materials that will encourage the growth of a wide range of microbes. The composition of a complex media is not easily identified. Now finally we have the synthetic media which contains which uh, in which all components of the media are added. Now these are pictorial representation of various cultural media. We have the EMB agar, we have the McConkey agar, the XLD agar, the nutrient agar, chocolate agar, blood agar, just to mention, just to show you a few of the cultural uh, media that we use in culturing micro now moving along we'll be looking at how to culture microbes now to culture microbes we prepare several culture media that is nutrient agar in petri dishes secondly we label each petri dish containing agar place sample of the material suspected to contain the microbes using a sterilized inoculating loop and indicate the source of the sample to obtain sample from air you expose the petri dish to open air for about 3 to 5 minutes and then incubate. You incubate the petri dishes at 25 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. Note, one of the petri dishes is not exposed to serve as control. You observe each dish and note the color, shape and growth pattern in the petri dishes. Now what we can conclude is that growth will appear in all the petri dishes except for the one that is unexposed. This indicates the microorganisms are everywhere and can grow. So now this is a pictorial representation of the process that I just mentioned 
in the previous slide. Now these are the materials that you need to culture microorganisms. We have the inoculating loop. This is what we use to collect a um, sample from a uh, from a sample source, especially if um, it's in a test tube. We we sterilize the inoculating loop and we dip it into the sample and then we streak it on the petri dish. Now we have the petri dish, this is the petri dish, this cylindrical covering that you have a this cylindrical material which is like a which is made up of plastic, not glass. Um, it is transparent, we can see through it and it has a cover. Now this is the agar jelly, which is the cultural media. As you can see, this color here indicates the growing bacteria. Now looking at um, this trick plate method procedure, which I, I described earlier in the previous slide. So you can see you pick the inoculating loop, you sterilize it um, using a flame, then you then once it's um, it's cool, then you dip it inside the inside the material that contains the bacteria. Then you streak it over over the agar within this petri dish. As you can see, this is um, a demonstration. So you streak it all over the petri dish, as you can see demonstrated here. So what happens is that you you do it very fast because because you need uh, you don't want to grow microorganisms um, and that are in the air inside the petri dish. You just want to grow the microorganism inside the sample on this petri dish. So you need to um, sterilize the agar gel itself to um, avoid contamination by microorganisms in the air. You also sterilize the inoculating loop and you make sure that you incubate in 20, in, um, using the temperature 25 degrees Celsius, not 37 degrees Celsius, which is room temperature because you can grow dangerous you can grow dangerous micro um, organisms that can be harmful to human beings. But in the laboratory, you only grow microorganisms in 25 degrees Celsius, and you do so for about two or three days. Then at the end of the day, you see formation of colonies. You can actually see visible colonies of bacteria on the um, in the petri dish. And these colonies con may contain about tens or hundred thousand um, bacteria cells. Now we'll be moving along to culturing viruses. Now viruses cannot be cultured just as bacteria. This is because the cultural media in which bacteria grow cannot support the growth of viruses. Viruses need living hosts to reproduce and replicate their nucleic acid. So therefore viruses are cultured by injecting the suspension containing the virus into the air of a rabbit or into a fertilized egg so that they will grow and multiply. Now this brings us to the end of today's lesson. Let's take a quick look at the summary. Microbial culture is a method of multiplying microbial organisms by letting them reproduce in predetermined cultural medium under controlled laboratory conditions. Now a culture is a collection of microorganisms growing in or on a cultural media. Now a cultural media is a liquid or solid or gel-like preparation containing nutrients that can support the growth of microbes. To grow microbes, samples can be obtained and placed on agar or cultural media and incubated in the laboratory. Now before we go, I want to pause this video and try to answer the question in this assessment to know how much of the lesson that you have actually learned or imbibed and I will see you again in the next lesson. Bye-bye.